four, three, two, one. You got one last chance to stuff something in. There we go. So how dry is that? All right. And when you're ready, the Swiss national anthem, please, Mathilde. It really blew my mind. Career highlights and more with your favorite winter athletes. This is On The Line. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Mathilde, how are we? Good, good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Have you been holed up in your home resort of La Bera? Yeah. It seems like you've been getting quite dirty out there on the mountain bike. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much everything I've been doing, like biking, even like the worst weather is so fun, like uh, when it's really muddy, I, I like it. So I've been out on the bike like every two days, I think, uh, of the week. And you, did you not do your first race as well? Oh yeah, yeah, I did my first race uh, just this weekend. That was, but that was on my home track, so it was just like for fun. And so I've been in the gym as well to get fit for the winter. What for you has been the highlight of your career? In 2016, I think, we were in Dubai and it was my first year there and I was trying everything I wanted and everything I was lending it. Like this day I was like, okay, that's really what I want to do. And then like, of course, the Olympics and X Games Gold and Big Air were definitely like big, big highlights. Freestyle skiing knowledge. There have been 12 free skiing Olympic medals awarded for slope style. Name every single one. There was Nick Gepper twice. Uh, Josh Christensen, Gus Kenworthy, Dara Howell, Devin Logan, um, Kim Lamar, Oysen Bratton, Sarah Hufflin, Izzy Akin, and me, and... Oh, oh that's so bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a clue? Yeah. He's referred to not as his name, but his initials quite often. Just the letters of his name. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cut you off. A B M. Oh yeah. If that was a university exam, you'd still be getting an A. <laughs> Which trick at the 2017 X Games scored a perfect 50 out of 50? <laughs> Switched up 10. Yep. And who did it? I did it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Skier drops into a pipe. Switch 14. Mhm. Mm an alley-oop five, an alley-oop nine, and then a 360. Do they ride out of the pipe forwards or switch? <laughs> 14, 40, alley-oop five, alley-oop nine, and then a 360. He's gonna ride out switch. Correct! Sick. Well done! <laughs> Would you rather paint the whole of your house using your face as a brush, or your knees as two brushes? <laughs> My knees. <laughs> Would you rather be killed by zombies or eaten by sharks? Eaten by sharks. Really? You're allowed to choose the person who this is. So would you rather lick someone's armpit after a heavy workout session once, or they have to lick yours for a week of workout? <laughs> I think I would say JP, my old coach, has to lick mine for a week. One minute conversation with yourself as a child or a one minute conversation with yourself when you're old? One minute conversation with myself when I'm old. Have your biggest wish granted or would you rather be able to fix your worst regret? Mm, fix my worst regret. Mm, okay, very good. So final round, what is the problem with scrambled eggs? I don't like them. Why? I don't know, it's... I feel like in hotels and stuff, sometimes they don't do real eggs. What's the problem with parsley? How can you have a problem with parsley? Oh yeah, I really don't like it, it's just like... But it doesn't taste of anything! It tastes really strong. Really? Yeah. I've been told to ask you about did something happen when you had your wisdom teeth removed? <laughs> yeah, I had like a 
a really big infection. This side was okay, but this side was like really big and really hard. And then for two days I couldn't eat and then they, like, I passed out. Like I faint or, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where were you when you passed out? Were you somewhere public or were you No, home? I was just like at the, the table in, in, just like right next to the kitchen. Is it true that you never, ever, ever brush your hair? Yep, that's definitely true. What I wouldn't give to be able to brush my hair again. <laughs> We have some crackers here, Matil. Eat as many of the crackers as you can in 10 seconds. And at the end of 10 seconds, I would like you to sing the Swiss national anthem. No. <laughs> Go. 10, nine, eight, seven. Oh, she's going for a very, very calm collective. Six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. You got one last chance to stuff something in. There we go. So how dry is that? All right. And when you're ready, the Swiss national anthem, please, Mathilde. <laughs> you don't know the lyrics? Oh, well, that's a fail right there. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go, Mathilde Cremont. She doesn't know the lyrics. She's got a mouthful of crackers. All right, Mathilde, thank you so much for joining us. We'll let you get rid of the crackers. Thank you so much. Mathilde Gremo, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs>